Hello, welcome back to this week's vlog. I don't know, hold on. I have absolutely no idea what this week has to offer. We're just going with the flow. Oh my god, my Uber's here. Um, the house is being repainted, the house is a mess. It's just, it's, it's, it's a ratchet. Okay, so let's go. So this is my outfit of the day. Some detailed combat boots. A black frill dress with pleats and a leather jacket. Wait, let me do it better. It's not working. I'll show you guys later what I'm wearing. Okay, I gotta go. Woo wee, I'm late. Okay. <laughs> we're about to have Ethiopian. Let me just show you guys our outfit of the day. <laughs> so cute. Punk Bay and her girlfriends. I've ever just seen 30 years who refused. <laughs> we refused. 22. Up and Danny. Forever. And yeah. <laughs> I like this. Super cute. Makeup stained sheets and tear soaked cheeks. Desperate for. Bring back dignity time and time again. I relapse, but love is never. She does sell seashells by the seashore. <laughs> that hair makes you look. First of all, I feel like I look like the friend who's never got together, and you look like all you... this bitches is my son. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's the daddy? <laughs> <laughs> I graduate with honors. <laughs> Anyways, um, I look like I'm your friend who's just never gotten her shit together, right. and you look like. And I'm here to talk you into getting your shit together. Yeah. And you like, come with all your problems, and I'm saying, like, girl, like you're trying to girl, tell me I need to like you. start saving. Oh, yes, like, why am I still renting? Because you now start. own four houses start and now. an apartment. Start now. Look at you. Like, start now. Do that again. Start now. Oh, that's just the friend who has your. And that's my card in my wallet. Uh, wait, like, that's, card? that's my card in my wallet. Like, she paid I'm for sure. lunch. <laughs> Funny story. So me and Jackie do 50-50. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Your friends. Whoops. Let me tell you something mm. that I appreciate about my friendships. We do not feel ever the need to pretend like we're bougie, that we're better than, that we have our life together. Even if fitty we have our life together. Yeah. Even we have, if we have Bitch. all of our lives together, we still do fitty fitty. Mm, unless so, I'm Rihanna, then I'm going to pay for everything. If I'm Rihanna or Kylie... Oh, for first sure, of all, please. if you are Kylie or Rihanna and you mm. ever give me a bill, I, did, I, did, I will who? just chew it and spit it in your face. Just boom, idiot, kumbaf, <laughs> stupidity, <laughs> stupidity in I your did, butthole. I did nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. I did. But until then, we still do 50 50. For everything. And we never argue. It's just such but a clear. It's, it's so just. It's like, who's paying with the card? You're paying with the card? Awesome. So, yeah, I guess like, I need this in this much. Discussion like, who's paying? Are you paying? I was like, it's 50 50. That is it. Get your friends who just like it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Like we don't need to pretend like we're bougie. Pretend zil. Go broke because it's me by that. Catch me dead. Guys, I'm always down who pays. Which do you ask Oh, by the way, we have never had that um, conversation with other people. Like, uh, Jackie always makes me pay for things. I've had conversations Actually, with people who do that where they're like, uh, Can you believe? I feel like pay. I'm so taken advantage of. They just of make my me pay friendships. for can't relate because my bitches know what's the these contacts just for some weird reason i'm always so i'm like oh cute then i'm always so i'm like yeah. that ain't it sis guten <laughs> <laughs> tag we are doing makeup it is the next day um my room is a mess i know because we repainted it yesterday because it was looking grimy yes it's still white I need to turn off that light. Okay, better. I uh, first need to put on my contacts. I'm a contacts chick now. Left me. Perhaps I should have found a way to pay it back. People find it weird that I can wear contacts with my nails. It's actually not that hard. Alright, let's beat this face. 
So this stuff has become my new favorite thing. This is a Vichy Mineral 89. I tried the Ordinary for about a month and a half. Did not like it. Did not hate it, but I did not like it. It just did not work for me or with me. It was just something that was just, was not it, sis. And then I just put on the regular moisturizer, which is the MAC Studio Moisture Cream. All right. So I am getting ready to head for a live um, with Pinky and Panair Health. And we're just going to be talking about um, just general health questions, things, things that we need to know, and digital health care. But for now, I just want to get ready for that. And I don't want to be late, so, which is why I can't talk so much right now. Uh, so let's just get this party started. Alright, the base of my makeup is done. I'm not doing eyelashes today because I'm wearing like a fringe wig and I just... I don't wanna. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing stockings today. I have not worn stockings in forever and I'm so excited. But the thing about stockings is if you've not worn them for a while, you still have to go through them to see if there are any runs. Okay, I know the house is a mess. Again, we were painting, so everything's all over the place. But anyway, so here is my outfit of the day. Can you see the shoes? Okay, anyways. genuinely don't know and I know what you're thinking damn joy your voice you sound like an angel and I know I know today's masking day and I figured why not shoot it um so you guys know that I work with Garnier but outside of that um I actually use a lot of their products like I'm obsessed with their masks I've started using their eye sheet mask but I wanted to use this opportunity because I have received questions in the past as to why I mask the way I do and what's the purpose of it. So I figured I can tell you guys. Cool? Gucci. Awesome. So today's a double mask day because I am shooting. I am shooting some content for Maybelline. I am trying to recreate a specific look. This look. But with color. Because it is a black and white photo. This is Diana Ross. I love her. Diana Ross, she has always been my style icon. Her and Cher, like just style icons. Like they make me wanna be skinny. Like they make me wanna be itty beady so I can wear itty beady clothes and look itty beady, but I'm not, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, style icon for the gods. Um, so that's the look that I'm creating today and because of that, I like to um, really prep my skin. Well, just generally, I like to prep my skin just in life, but especially for photos, especially when it's very skin-focused and focusing on this area. So we're double masking. So today we're doing the charcoal mask. This is the 3-in-1 Pure Active Intense Charcoal Mask. It's a wash, scrub, and mask. And then this is the Hydra Bomb Mask, or tissue mask, and this is a pomegranate one it's my favorite one 
Now we're gonna use both of them and I'll explain why I do what I do. So number one, I have a masking brush. Not necessary, it's just easier. I got tired of using my hands. It's annoying as hell to use your hands to put on a mask. So, so I apply it on an already cleansed skin. I've already taken a shower, um, cleansed my skin, dried it. I have not toned it yet. I will be toning it after I am done with this mask. Um, then after toning it, I'll move on to the Hydro Bomb Sheet Mask. Uh, the reason why I use these masks, number one, they're affordable. Um, I feel like sometimes skincare products can be so expensive that it's a little bit ridiculous. So I love the affordability of this. I use this charcoal mask three times a week. It exfoliates, it detoxifies. Um, when I say detoxify, I feel like some people usually get it confused with like the concept of you know when people take what are they called like the charcoal peels like it detoxifies their body this basically just extracts any excess oil and dirt on the face and basically takes it out so you can be able to wash it off plus it does like some light exfoliation i already exfoliate when i take a shower with my glove um but it's a very light exfoliation i never go too crazy on my skin and i think not i think actually i know that's the reason why I don't get blackheads and or whiteheads. Do you guys know what whiteheads are? Do you? So when you get whiteheads, and a lot of the times you'll notice it on like the chin area or you'll notice it around this nose area. I did a vlog once where you guys saw my updated skincare routine, which includes this as well. And I like pressed up on my nose and you saw that gunk come out of like the crevices on the side of the nose. So that starts off as a whitehead, which then turns into a blackhead, okay? So blackheads used to be whiteheads, and the whiteheads are basically just like oil and dead skin and like a whole bunch of gunk that gets stuck in the pores, and then um, for it to turn into a blackhead, it oxidizes and then turns the top of it black. So the reason why I exfoliate on a daily basis, again, very light exfoliation, because I know someone's going to be like, that's not good for your skin. It works great for my skin. It's not for everybody, but it works great for my skin. So um, when you do that, plus also using the charcoal mask, it, um, well, the exfoliation basically takes out any dead skin, so your pores won't get like gunked up and things. And the charcoal mask basically just um, absorbs the extra oil so that your pores don't get filled up with oils which will turn into that gunk that is whiteheads um, so I keep this on for about five minutes I know I've done a video before where I kind of fell asleep with a mask on don't do that it's actually bad for your skin to fall asleep with especially these kind of masks because they will overly dry your skin like a mofo. So if they tell you recommended time is seven minutes, it's seven minutes. If they tell you it's five minutes, it's five minutes. So this one is five minutes and then I will wash it off. And because I already exfoliate, I don't focus so much on like scrubbing my face. I just kind of just wash it off. Also, why you avoid the eye area, the skin here and the skin here is very very thin like it's very thin this skin is not the same as this skin you can't just be doing whatever okay so you don't want to damage that skin that's how people also start getting wrinkles and all that stuff don't 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 overwork this area of your skin so that's why i usually do not apply the charcoal mask in that area and also some people have mentioned in the past like why do you put it over your eyebrows isn't that gonna like remove all your eyebrows this is not a peel off mask it is a wash off mask so it's not pulling anything off um, for me personally, I'm not into peel off masks. It's not my thing. I either do these kind of paste wash off masks and sheet masks. Coolio, Gucci, we good? Okay, so four more minutes. Let me wash this off and then we'll move on to the next stage.
Okay, I have washed off and have toned my face. Um, I used two different toners. If you guys are curious about that, I'll put the link down below for my latest um, updated skincare routine. Um, basically, toners help like shrink the pores, really cleanse the skin even more, um, helps with pigmentation, all that jazz. Um, so now we're moving to the Hydra Balm. This is what's going to give my skin that illumination, that glow, that vibrance, that mwah, that je ne sais quoi. So I use this approximately once to twice a week, just depending on how my skin feels. I usually let my skin tell me what it is that it needs. Um, so sometimes it'll just be like, oh, we're Gucci for like the next like week. And sometimes it's just like, girl, you look dehydrated. Even though you drink a lot of water, you still look dehydrated. So we need another sheet mask. I know some people who do it three times a week. It's literally just like, listen to your face. People don't listen to their face. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna apply this on and it's for 15 minutes and I take off another thing with sheet masks Never ever 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 let a sheet mask dry on your face Like never let a sheet mask dry on your face. It's not supposed to dry on your face It's supposed to be all moist and like So when you let it dry on your face and you try to peel it off You're gonna damage your skin. So if it tells you 15 minutes keep it on for 15 minutes no more no less just like listen to the instructions and if you don't know i received dms about this like how do i wear the sheet mask i just bought it from jumia how long do i keep it on y'all i swear all these things have instructions in the back from time to ingredients to what it's used for how to use it they uh like the benefits of every single mask so if you're not sure just read the back if you've not bought it yet even if you buy it from jumia or wherever you buy it from online you can look at the back information by looking at the back photo of the whatever it is that you're buying and then just read from the back so this mask has pomegranate extract and hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is the actual bee's knees i'm just putting a little bit more moisture on my face because it's kind of dried off with the toner and then I'm going to put the sheet mask on top. So hyaluronic acid, I think I've spoken about this before, but hyaluronic acid is basically the stuff that we're born with. That's why babies have such great skin. And hyaluronic acid, from my understanding, like bonds to um, water, like the molecule bonds to water or something to that extent. And that's what makes you look all plump and sexy. So... It's also a very gooey mask. So the way you know how to wear this mask is the white sheet is always what's on your uso, on your face, right? So you find, oh God, I peeled this off the thing wrong, so now I gotta like stretch it out. Oh God, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. So the white sheet is supposed to stick onto the face and then the blue sheet is on the outside. Oh, you peel it off, and then you pull the skin. I like to just give myself a nice little space for breathing. And then you just stretch it out and try to cover the full circumference of your face. But because I am a Kenyan and took on my foreheads, of course, it's not going to fit on my entire forehead. So I just push up the serum, pack at the top of the forehead, you know. And for you Kenyans who do not have big foreheads, how does it feel to be God's favorite? Hmm? How does it feel? Because I can't relate. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes and then peel off and I'm going to do my makeup. Also something else that I do that's a little ghetto, don't judge me. So in the packet there's always like extra serum. So I push it up with my fingers, try to get as much as I can, and I just kind of put it on my body. <laughs> like, why are we wasting? If it's good for my face, it's good for my knees. Whomst are we? Whomst are we to pretend that we're born looking like children and we're going to look just young and voluptuous forever? If it's good for my face, it's good for my knees. Quote me. Okay, mask has been on for 15 minutes, so now I take it off. And then you just 
just massage it into the skin. I like to drag it down into my neck and my ears. Cause whom style if it's good enough for my face, it's good enough for my neck also. And then you do not wash this off. So there's gonna be excess left on the skin. So you take a cotton swab. I just have these little white patches, they're fabric. I no longer use cotton anymore because I don't like throwing them away. I feel like it's bad for the environment. I don't know why. So I just use, I have like a bunch of these. So I just keep washing them and reusing them. And then you just wipe off any excess. Just massaging it into the skin. And that's it. Alright, so now let me do my face. Um, again, I already showed you guys what the theme is. I'm creating that Diana Ross photo. With the fro, I'm going to be doing a pink shadow. Uh, so I'll just show you guys like the final look once I'm done. Hi, Bobo Kitty. So, I just shot something real quick before I finish my makeup for the Maybelline shoot, and it's how to wear a bikini top different ways to support the girls because I've realized a lot of women do not like wearing string bikini tops due to comfort. And um, by comfort, I mean like the support, the coverage, the whole shebang. So as long as you have the right size uh, bikini top for your girls, trust me, there is a very comfortable way for you to wear it. So I shot a video that I wanted to put on my IGTV, but I changed my mind. It's going to be for y'all. It's going to be um, portrait mode. Sorry about that, but I'll make it look decent for you at the very least. So today we are talking about bikini tops. So this is a bikini top from Pax Wear. I'm mainly going to just be talking about the top aspect because bottoms are bottoms. It is what it is. Um, so this is from Pax Wear. It is a Kenyan brand. Um, buy Kenya, support Kenya, build Kenya, all that jazz. You guys know that. So check them out. They're down below. So this is the basic halter tie. Personally, not my favorite. It just cuts into the neck. Uh, it's just it, it's it's simple like it's a simple bikini top um, if you like it this shape but you don't like how it cuts into the neck this is a very simple solution okay so I'm wearing a top for obvious reasons um, so this is the basic way that you wear the bikini I just showed you guys that so how to avoid the neck aspect so you first take the bottom part you tie that make sure it's nice and secure and then you pull up the little triangles, you lift it to the back, pulling the top string into this bottom part, remember this other side, into this bottom part and twisting it just for that extra support. And then you pull on them and then you tie the back. And here you have it, very, very simple, straight to the point, does not cut to the back. You keep the same style, you can adjust the bottom however you like it. Like, live your life, live your life. So here is the next look. Now the other way that is absolutely so incredibly comfortable is to take the bikini top, turn it upside down like that. The upside down part goes up onto the neck just for the beginning part until you can adjust accordingly. You then pull down and tie it in the back as per usual. And then you tie the top to your level of comfort. And here you go. Wearing it upside down is my favorite way to wear it. It has incredible support. Like in incredible support and then you can just keep adjusting it according to what works best for you and your cup size or your comfort level love it but again i hate this halter thing so you just do the exact same thing as you did with the first one and voila this is my favorite way of wearing it it's not cutting to the neck i get the upside down comfort level you can adjust you know pull up pull down according to what makes you most comfortable now if you're looking for a little bit more spice 
here's a simple way to change it up. And this is the last one, very simple. You just take it, cross it around, tie it around your neck, and then you adjust. And here is the last look. I absolutely love it. Super adorable. Is it a little bit tight on the neck? Yeah! Do you feel like you're being choked out and you can pass out any second now? But do you want to be cute or do you want to breathe? Okay, I'm joking about that part. It is bearable on the neck. It's fine. You can survive. I love the look enough to where I'm just like, it's okay. It's a vibe. So yeah, if you've ever been uncomfortable with string bikinis, uh, mainly for the comfort level or the support aspect, try out these versions and let me know if they work out for you. So I'm not trying to just zhuzh back up the wig after keeping it in the scarf. I think I'm gonna have to make this wig bigger in editing. Like I need it to just be voluptuous. Let me check out what the photo looks like. So the pose is very... So I need to keep the light down. I think I'm gonna have to make the hair bigger and more, actually not necessarily bigger, I'm gonna have to round it out because this wig has more curls in it, um, but I want it to be more rounded as it is in the photo. So, and so something I really wanna do is add some blush. I rarely ever wear blush, but it's not gonna be blush blush. I'm gonna wear the same eyeshadow that I have on my lid and as you can tell like I kept the eyeshadow basically the same color palette going all the way through because I really loved like the 70s 80s it was very like monochrome ish like there was very little shadowing and things like that um and also they like if they wore pink eyeshadow like their blush was the exact same color and they would like pull it all the way up so that's the vibe I'm gonna go for. I know you can't see it in the photo because it is black and white, but we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it right, right? So this is the pink, this is the pink shadow that I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna have to be hella precise. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to like, pinch the brush and like just really get it in there I'm trying to think if I have other photos that I need to take today because once I do this this is it sis all right we're good we we good all right oh okay we're doing it all right we've done it oh that is so pink and then you pull it into the temples because that's how they used to roll. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce. I, I know I look like a clown. Give me a second. It's gonna work. So help me God because I'm not doing this again. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're, it's already applied to can and deal. All right, all we can do is blend. Maybe use a little bit of powder to tone it. Ah, I did the right amount on this side. Like this is perfect. This is ridiculous. And I just pull into the temple. So if you guys are curious about the BTS of what it takes to do content for a company, this is it. You come up with a concept, you send it to the brand. If they like the concept, they approve. If they don't like it, they'll let you know. So the concept for this was, I just wanted to showcase Maybelline products and um, recreating an iconic uh, photo. Um, and for me, I chose Diana Ross, just cause Diana, Diana. Oh, 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 I gotta reduce. Oh, this side. Oh, oh girl. Thank God for powder. To kind of help minimize your mistakes you know what I'm saying oh and this palette that I use for both my lids and my blush uh, this is the lemonade craze palette I love this stuff 
Ooh, there she is. 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 Okay, so let's take a photo. So this is a fabric I'm gonna use. Goal is to get it to lay like that. Uh, so I need to wash off this face, take off my lash, <laughs> and have a snack because I'm all hungry. Um, oh, let's like just quick look into what I have so far. But my issue was just more of like my body direction, my eyes, what they were staring at. So I just had to keep playing with different ways and I figured out that this was the better angle, like looking directly into the light to get more of the exact same look I was trying to go for. But yeah, there we go. And that's how I take photos by myself. Hi. Um, I don't know. It's like one and I'm eating breakfast right now because I just need to clean up the house a little bit, reorganize some stuff. I am having um, shakshuka with some guacamole, some sweet potato, and some greens because why the hell not i'm kind of just not in the mood for working out today but i kind of really 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 want to it is monday so um i think i'm gonna work out this evening and i'm just gonna force myself even if it's just a light cardio or like just basic cardio to just get the blood pumping and all that jazz uh so i'll see you guys in a little bit Video. Hey, that's on. Anyways, we're doing a makeup video. Uh, we're doing a reel for um, what is it? African designer inspired makeup looks that you would wear for the runway. Yes. Lockdown wasn't a thing. Anyways, moving on swiftly. <laughs> Supernatural, right? You can wear this to the club, you can wear it to like your friend's wedding, it's such a love. <laughs> hair there. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Got all up? Yep. That was a cute look. Oh, I should have showed you guys. Ah, see, you'll see on Instagram. <laughs> was cute. It was so sweet. It so, was sweet. Cute. so sweet. So <laughs> sweet. I want to be daring, baby. Dance the night away. I let my head down. Okay, it's a wrap. We're done. We're done. My face is raw. That's that's gonna happen to you. Bro. Right from all the removing of the makeup that's and putting it back on. Ugh. So we're just gonna wrap it up here. Um, I finished the shoot with Sunita, as you guys saw, and I really want to show you guys the final product i guess i can do it here um but just real quick sunita is an amazing 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 makeup artist i've worked with her for years for multiple looks um she's one of my favorite people who i trust touching my face her and marco um 
Other than that, yeah, Sunita is just the best. She is part of this platform called Nibia Artistry and their sole purpose is to bring African-made makeup products and brands to us. Um, so a lot of the products that we did use are African-made, Kenyan-made, Kenyan brands or African brands. Um, so you guys can check it out on Instagram if you want to get all the details for everything. Not everything, but the african made products that we used specifically for those looks uh go check it out there also follow sunita she's bon city. if you need a makeup artist for editorial work she's your girl um so let me just show you guys the final product of the shoot and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye One. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better